안녕하세요. Welcome to the class. Again, uh, today's topic is food. So this, uh, this week's uh, lecture will wrap up kind of our uh, the subsection. Uh, we started from housing and we talked about clothing last time. Today, uh, food. So this again, uh, the, our traditional uh, daily lives uh, we can, we can uh, understand. Uh, so let's move on. Arrows. So uh, Korean dietary culture. That's the topic. Here uh, we have a quote from uh, the Michael Brin, who uh, who's been living in Korea for some time, and he wrote a couple of books about Korean culture. Uh, he shows very uh, keen insights, and this is one of his his uh, words from his book, and it has to with again his very uh, personal uh, experience. Uh, Korean these days are, are known for uh, eating very spicy food. Uh, the best example is of course kimchi, and and also eating a lot of uh, peppers and garlics. So this is what he says. So I picked up a green pepper, and bit into it. It was so hot, it almost blew my face off. So uh, I think it is one of the uh, most spicy uh, hot pepper. Uh, and, and also, it's, it's getting worse here. You are supposed to dip in, in it here. Another foreigner said to Michael Breen, they dip peppers in a salty paste, again, made of red pepper to spice up the taste. So you have this spicy green pepper, uh, Koreans are very familiar with this, Cheongyang gochu, for example, and it's very spicy itself, but they dip that pepper in pepper paste. So it double the, the hotness. So again, that uh, certainly gave him shocking experience as, a, uh, as he's initiated into Korean dietary culture. So uh, that's what uh, we'll look at today. So there are three uh, points I selected today. First, the courtesy toward elders was well, always important. So it's etiquettes, the courtesies, uh, when you have a, a dinner table, there are specific rules you have to follow, especially if a younger you're not supposed to eat until the elders have been served. So that's basic uh, ethics, etiquettes. And again, that based on Confucian teachings. Respect for elders is very important. The second uh, features you can find is sense of family traditions. So even uh, when you taste kimchi in Korea, there's a variety of kimchi. And also from one region to another, uh, the taste varies. Not only that, the very contents within kimchi and also the very process to make kimchi differ from one family to another. So basically, it originated from family tradition. So the cooking method passed down one generation to another and it has to do with a formation of very unique uh, dietary cuisine uh, culture in Korea. And the sense of community, the sharing food is, is very important. So even today, uh, it's not uh, usual to see a, a person living, dining alone in the restaurant. Actually, people avoid eating by himself or herself. So sharing food. It's about time lunch, who are going to have a dine with. So that's kind of basic, uh, the norm even today. But again, that originates from this sense of community. So always special dishes are made and shared with neighbors and relatives. On the birthday party or funerals, uh, we talked about lights, rites of passage before. I mean, these are the events for cook, uh, cooking uh, special uh, food, uh, type of dishes, and again, inviting guests, neighbors, uh, your uh, family relatives and friends and, and sharing their food. It's uh, disappearing fast these days, but still 
uh, you're not surprised to see uh, people uh, carrying rice cakes and deliver that to your neighbor whom you never met before simply because you moved in new village or new apartment unit you're sharing this rice cake uh, so it's kind of a sharing uh, this this uh, the spirit of community uh, using the rice cakes so this is interesting cultural uh, practice even today so you can see uh, this uh, typical uh, the color of kimchi you can see and this garlic and the red pepper it's very strong uh, uh, color you can see and also the taste itself uh, Middle East mention and winter kimchi making called the kimjang as you can see in, in, the, in the lecture notes is very important uh, for every household again uh, in this contemporary Korean culture, this, the kimjang practice, winter kimchi making practice is, f is disappearing fast. Again, because of the rhythm of, the, uh, of daily lives uh, and urban lifestyle uh, doesn't allow this, this uh, community kimchi making practice uh, acceptable no longer. So uh, it's disappearing, but it's been part of very strong uh, dietary culture in Korea. Again, uh, we talk about the generosity, we talk about community, I mean similar, uh, the, the concepts here. And again, the meals open followed by drinking and singing. So it's like a total uh, celebration. It's not just eating itself, I mean like a uh, taste itself. It's always combined with community spirit and also the festive uh, movement. Uh, and there's a very interesting uh, tradition I, I want to mention here. They make flower cake. What does that mean? They have flower petal. So uh, let's say in Korean we call it chindale uh, chan. For example, we pick the petal of azalea and place on the top of this rice cake. And it's flower. It's, it's something we eat, but we have using flower petal we become one with nature. It's a very genuine uh, and very romantic, I think, uh, concept. And we share again with your friends and at the same time, uh, flower gazing expeditions. So again, this is, uh, you're in the forest, you have this uh, azalea petal leaves, and on top of it you have a rice cake, so, I mean, again, this is a very naturalistic uh, aesthetic can be found in these interesting practices. So, uh, again, there is a rich uh, and uh, uh, rewarding uh, uh, values and traditions can be found in Korean dietary culture. So, uh, I should say system, right? Uh, system of passing down cooking method from generation to generation. It's uh, years and years, I think, it created unique eating habits. Uh, and again, in each uh, families, they may have their own styles and also becomes a regional specialties. So it's a great uh, uh, opportunity. If you travel uh, from one region to another in Korea, you can not only taste different uh, food, but also uh, regional culture that goes with that uh, specific type of dishes. So it, uh, again, it's a great fun for the tourist in Korea. Uh, again, this kimchi is one of many dishes, of course, but this kind of becoming, becoming the, the major symbols uh, for Korean people. Again, national sentiments of, of Korea. We talk about the, the red color, but in a re recent uh, international event like a uh, World Cup soccer game, the cheering fans wearing these flashy red shirts, uh, they call themselves uh, blue, uh, red devils. But again, that color red, again, uh, reminds this red color of kimchi and also this, this temper, hot tempered sentiment uh, that goes with that. So uh, becoming a symbol of, of, of uh, sentiments of Korea even today. So uh, I hope you enjoy reading the rest of the lecture notes. I will see you again uh, next week. Thank you.